For your health tonight, a first for Indianapolis Emergency Medical Services. Paramedics saved a patient's life by performing a blood transfusion in the field. And the CBS4 Scarlett O'Hara explains the patient might not have survived without this new program. More than 80 people have survived shootings so far this year in the city of Indianapolis, according to Metro Police, but something was different about one recent case. Indianapolis EMS responded to a patient who was in severe shock after being shot multiple times, rapidly running out of blood, at least a liter of it, and time. They were moving and answering questions, but not having that pulse. Let us know his blood pressure was really low and had uh, internal bleeding. It's nothing these paramedics hadn't seen before. The patient did not have a wound that they could put a tourniquet on, so they used wound packing gores. But they realized they needed to take a more uncommon approach to help this patient make it to the hospital. We've done four transfusions. This was the first one to be successful. IEMS and Eskenazi Health have been working since 2022 to equip paramedics with the training, tools, and blood supply they need to perform transfusions on the scene. Currently, one IEMS ambulance carries blood, and it's the one that saved this patient's life. It's a fantastic feeling, uh, and to be part of something that's so monumental in Indianapolis CMS's history here is it's unlike anything I've ever felt before. This is not real blood, but if it were, it could be kept on the truck in this military-designed cooler, and with this blood warmer ready to use within seconds. Technology here is actively used by the military right now, and we're just translating that to civilian medicine. IEMS is one of roughly 130 emergency medical services across the country with a field blood program. Medical Director Mark Leo hopes to see that number grow and says this case highlights the importance of blood donation. So we need a reliable source of blood to help save lives and Hoosiers helping Hoosiers is a great example of how we can help by donating. He says this could be a game changer for communities that aren't always within 15 minutes of a hospital. And here, it has already started saving lives. To do this and actually make a difference in someone's life and know that we have the tools and the capability and the education to, to be able to do that uh, really makes a difference. Reporting in Indianapolis, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News. It's really fascinating stuff.